Hi guys, welcome back to TOEFL with Yuva. I scored 29 in TOEFL reading and today we are going to have a look at five things that you should not do in TOEFL reading. If you do these things, your score will drop considerably. But if you know that you should avoid them, this won't happen to you. So let's get right into it. Number one, don't read the whole passage in detail when you start the TOEFL reading section. Don't start by reading the whole passage in detail. This won't help you. The problem is that when you start reading the passage, you don't know yet what the questions are about. So you don't know what the questions ask you to do. And so you don't know what you need to focus on in the passage. And the problem is that if you read the whole passage in detail, you don't have a focus this means that you don't filter out the information that you need in order to answer the questions correctly and it will cost you a lot of time because in TOEFL reading the passages are really long and sometimes really complicated. So don't do that. It's not necessary to do that. Rather, skim the passage first. You only need to know where the information is roughly located in the passage. That's totally sufficient. After that, go to the questions and read the question you want to start with in detail. Read it very closely so that you know what this question asks you to do. And after that you go back to the passage and since you have skimmed the text before you will know where the information that you need in order to answer the question is located in the passage. So you go to that exact part in the passage and read it again in detail very carefully. And then you filter out the information that is necessary in order to answer the question correctly. You figure out the correct answer and you answer the question. This will save you a lot of time and it will ensure that you have the information in order to answer the question correctly. Let's go on with number two. Don't take notes. Guys, it's absolutely not necessary to take notes in TOEFL reading. In fact, I think that it can even lower your score. Why is it not necessary? In TOEFL reading, everything you need is already there. All the information you need in order to answer the questions correctly is located in the passage. So if you follow the reading strategy we were just talking about, if you skim the text, go to the questions and go back to the text and read it in detail, you will be able to figure out the information that you need in order to answer the questions correctly. You don't need to take notes for that. Tougher reading is different from writing, speaking and listening. For example, in TOEFL listening, you should take notes because you listen to a lot of information and after that you need to answer questions and you cannot listen to the information again. So it's really difficult to remember everything that has been said. That's why you should take notes in TOEFL listening or in TOEFL speaking and writing. It's important to take notes because you need to structure your ideas in advance. You need to know what you want to say or what you want to write about before you start speaking or writing. But in TOEFL reading, everything you need is located in the passage. You just need to go there, go to this part that you need for the question and read it more closely. You absolutely do not need to take notes in order to answer the questions correctly. Therefore guys, 
Use the reading strategy we were talking about before and don't slow yourself down by taking notes in TOEFL reading. Number three, don't skip a question. Guys, this is really important. When you don't know the answer to a question in TOEFL reading, it's really tempting to think, okay, I will leave this question for later. I will now go on with the other questions because I can always go back and answer this question later. Don't do that because this can go terribly wrong. First, it may be that you run out of time and then you don't have the possibility to go back and answer the question. And second, it may be that you simply forget about the fact that you still need to answer this question. And what happens is you won't get any point for this question because you didn't provide an answer. And this is simply not necessary because in TOEFL reading you don't get penalty points. Therefore, even if you don't know the answer to a question, always answer this question. This is really important because otherwise you may lose points. Perhaps your answer is correct that would be amazing. And perhaps it's wrong. Okay, then you tried, you didn't choose the correct answer, things like that happen. And always remember that you can always go back and change this answer. This is always possible. But if you don't put there any answer at all, you will definitely lose a point. So don't do that. Let's go on with number four. Don't change an answer out of a whim. Guys, this is so important. I've made that mistake so many times during my TOEFL preparation. What I did was I went through the questions, I answered them, I went to the next passage, answered the questions regarding this passage, and in the end of the reading section, I thought, okay, I want to go back and have a look at that question again because I was really unsure about it. And what I did then was I read the question again, I thought mm, I'd like to change that answer and I simply chose another answer. And the problem was that I did not read the part of the passage again that was relevant to this question. And in the end, most of the times it turned out that I had converted a correct answer into a wrong answer. Why did this happen? I had not had a look at the passage again. I had not read the part that was relevant for the question again. And so I had missed essential information. And that's why in the end, I answered the question wrongly. Don't do that. If you want to change an answer, that's totally fine. If you are unsure about a question, you should definitely think about that. But if you do that, always read that part of the passage again that is relevant for the question. Because you may not remember all the information that is relevant in order to answer this question correctly. So definitely read that part of the passage again before you change your answer. If you don't have the time to read this part again, don't change your answer. Let it stand as it is. Let's get to the last point. Number five, don't spend too much time on a question. Guys, when you don't know the answer to a question. It's really tempting to spend a lot of time figuring out this question. Of course, because you want to answer this question correctly. When you don't know how to answer a question in tougher reading, you don't want to go on and answer the other questions because you think, I need to answer this question correctly because I want to have a point for this question. I want to have a high 
shuffle score. And the problem is that what you don't see in this moment is that there are also many other questions that you still need to answer. And this means that if you spend too much time on this one question that you are having difficulties with, you will lose valuable time and you will lack this time for the many other questions that you still need to answer. In such a moment, you must have a different perspective. I'd recommend if you don't know the answer to a question, don't spend too much time on that. Go with your gut, choose any answer that you think is plausible. You can always go back in the end and answer this question. But if you lose a lot of time answering this question, you won't have this time for the many other questions you still need to do. And in the worst case, you will lose a lot more points because you don't have the time for these questions and you will lose a lot more points than if you pick a wrong answer here and simply go on. So don't spend too much time on a single question. I know it's hard, but it will help you get a higher score in the end. That's it. These are the five things you should not do in TOEFL reading. If you like, download the summary. You can find the link in the description below. If you have any questions or a video wish, tell me about that in the comments below. I'd love to hear about that. And guys, if this video was helpful to you, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss the next one. I'd love to see you here next time. Bye-bye.